Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So now, I want to talk about the Glorilla situation, child. <laughs> um. This is funny. A lot of a few people are in their feelings today, and I don't understand why. It's it, it's it's very interesting. But we're gonna talk about Glorilla. Glorilla has been out here giving dating advice um, to her followers, right? So let me show y'all what she posted. Yet it all started yesterday. Where's her? Uh... Okay, found it. All right, so let's listen to Glorilla. She had some dating advice yesterday. Let me share my screen with y'all real quick here. All right. So this is what Miss Glorilla had to say. <clears throat> I just gotta say this. If you trust a nigga that you met at the club, you was a hot ass miss and a goddamn fool. And you don't got no motherfucking home training. Because, bitch, why the fuck could you sit up here falling in love with a nigga that you know you met at a place where he looking for hoes at? Bitch, you looking for hoes. He finna treat you like a motherfucking hoe, bitch. Why the fuck could you send your dumb ass right here falling in love? Stay woke. Stay the fuck woke. I just got to say this. <clears throat> All right. So that is what she had to say. So now I want to share with y'all. She went on to the breakfast club this morning to further elaborate um, on the situation. So let me play y'all her breakfast club interview. Okay, here we go. You're talking about you and your ratchet ass friends, as we call them. I'm just <laughs> but, but you were saying that you can't find love in the club. Uh-huh. We were saying that. That's, that's, that's not necessarily true. No, that's what they said. I agree with you. I said, I'm, I'm 44. My old ass ain't in no club. So if you tell me there ain't nothing but holes in the club, I got to listen to you, bro. Okay? You said you can find love in the club. So break that down. You There's no love in the club? When you go in the club, you see the same people, and they just in there standing around. What they doing? Looking for the hoes. <laughs> okay. Now, what was you doing? Looking for the hoes. Looking for the hoes. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever dated somebody you did meet in the club, though? No. Never. I, Never. I just feel like you can, you know what I'm saying? If you meet somebody in the club, you can have them. They could be your little yeah, but like... Going your little what? Yeah, little yeah. <laughs> little yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but like going, but going into a relationship, <laughs> that is like, you know you finna get your feelings hurt. Like, so where do you meet guys? <laughs> where have you meeting them at? The studio probably now, right? Church? <laughs> I don't be talking to do. You be going to church? <laughs> Christian Mingle? <laughs> so you don't talk I, to nobody. You know, I do what I do. Who's your little yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you Who's your little yeah? <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I just be doing what I do. Because <laughs> I want to know where do you meet people then in that case? I mean, you just meet people. But what about you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you blushing? Why are you blushing? You why are you blushing? You blushing? <laughs> Y'all play something. Who is this person? Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could just meet people. Okay, okay. She be real big. <laughs> All right, let me come back on the screen here. Okay, so y'all just heard what Glover had to say. So, I didn't agree with her advice yesterday, and I did not agree with her advice on The Breakfast Club. And I will tell you guys why. Um. I feel like this, one, you can meet people anywhere, right? You can meet people in the club. You can meet people at church. Just because you meet somebody in the club does not necessarily mean that they're just there for sex or that they're a bad person. You know, it's a place. It's a, it's a meeting place. It's a place where people are there to party, drink, dance, have fun. I have found love in the club before. You know, I ended up meeting a guy in the club. And so, you know, standing the night, everybody's getting ready to walk out. And he grabbed me. He was like, what you want? What you about to do? And I was like, I'm about to get home because I had to be at work at, you know, six o'clock in the morning. 
He's like, well, what do you do? I was like, I do IT. And we ended up exchanging numbers. And he said that that was why he really liked me. He said, because he's been in the club other times where he's, you know, grabbed a girl at the end of the night and they ended up hooking up. So again, it's not because it's the club. It's your energy. It's what you put out there. You know what I'm saying? If you're willing to give up some cat the first night, nobody's, you know, the average guy's not going to turn that down. But if you know who you are, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think that matters. I just don't like this whole mentality of, you know, women feeling they can only go certain places to find love or to find a relationship. And what was so funny is when they were asking her, okay, well, where do you find love? Where can we find love? She had no answers. It was just a bunch of giggling and laughing, but you're giving dating advice with absolutely no answers. So my thing is this, and I was hearing a lot of people saying, well, you, you're supposed to find your man in the church or, you know, at, um, you know, small business events and stuff like that. What makes a man in the church any more worthy than a man in the club? You know how many men are in the church who are cheaters, philanderers? Philander, you know, they're, they're philandering cheaters. They can quote every Bible scripture, but they ain't shit. It's not about where you meet that person. Look at Pastor Jamal Bryant. Perfect example. He's a pastor. Look how bad he done had babies on Giselle and did all types of disrespectful stuff. So it doesn't matter if that person is in the church or if they're in the club. It's about energy. And I just find it very disturbing when grown folks try to tell a lot of y'all younger folks something, y'all want to come and clap back. I have females in the comment section saying that I was grab that I was dragging Glozilla. How did I drag her? Because I don't agree with her statement. I never told y'all to unfollow her. I never told y'all not to support her. I've met Glorilla. She's a sweet girl. You know what I'm saying? So it's really sad that when people speak their truth, how they see things, it bothers some of y'all's demons. Like I had to block like 30 people today. They were just coming at me sideways because I didn't agree with what she said. So let me refresh y'all's memory for some of y'all who think I'm like hating on this girl. It's, it's silly. And I even wrote on my Instagram page when I had went, cause I met her at Cardi's party, that she's a sweetheart. Me and our mom got a chance to meet her. She's a really nice girl. I like her. Let me, this is my page. Okay, yeah. So that's me and her right there. Really nice girl, really, really sweet. So I'm confused as to like how I was dragging her. So let me go ahead and read to y'all what I have wrote on this. This was her Breakfast Club interview. We talking about you. I can't play it because you know they gonna copyright. So I said, so you can sleep with a random yeah from the club and create soul ties, but you can't get to know that, that person on a deeper level and create a real relationship. This world is so backwards and you got grown folks co-signing this like she's speaking the truth. That's not dragging her. And anybody who thinks that's dragging, you're a weirdo. That is speaking my truth. You don't have to agree with it, but not one time did I drag her. I didn't call out her name. I didn't talk about her looks. I didn't tell people to unfollow her, to not stream her music. Like what is y'all's definition of dragging? Because I believe like y'all are just... Y'all are weirdos for y'all to think that that comment is dragging. She basically said that she has no problem hooking up with the little yeah in the club. To me, that to me is a lot weirder than actually getting to meet somebody from the club and trying to be in a relationship with that person and trying to get to know them. So we're going to co-sign sleeping with somebody that you don't know. You know what I'm saying? And just hooking up with them. But then say, but if you try to look for a relationship in the club, that's a bad, that's a bad thing. To me, that's so backwards. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. So sleeping with a stranger that you barely know is okay. And hooking up is okay. But saying, hey, I like this stranger. This could be something. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to know each other. And if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But again, this is the same culture where y'all scream around, where y'all sit there and talk about y'all are munches. Y'all just want to get y'all cat ate and move on to the next. So, I mean, I get it, I guess, you know, but um, <laughs> not Marquis writing church, red flag, red flag, red flag. Yes, 
And that's the thing. It doesn't matter where you meet somebody. You know, that was everybody's response. Yeah, you don't never want to meet somebody in the club. You're supposed to meet your husband in the church. Y'all want to tell that to Giselle Bryant and her play a play a husband? People can disappoint you no matter the situation, no matter where you meet them. You know what this reminds me of? When I used to have my lovely news channel and when black women would end up getting killed by somebody that they met on the internet or just even women in general. And I remember there were always people commenting, well, if they want to met somebody off the internet, well, that's why you don't meet people off the internet. That's why you don't date people off of Tinder. That's why, you know, I would never date somebody off the internet. And I have to say, hold on. If y'all, I don't know if y'all remember this video, but I have to say, y'all make absolutely no sense. What is the difference between a woman meeting a man off of the internet and going on a date with them versus a woman meeting somebody at the gas station? You don't know them. You don't know that person. I don't care if it's the internet, if it's the gas station, if it's at a school library, if it's in the church, you never really know anybody. So to dismiss people and say, oh, well, it doesn't matter. And that's what they get because they, you, they found somebody on the internet is silly. You know how people done lost their lives because they thought they met the love of their life at the grocery store and that motherfucker ended up being a psycho, you know what I'm saying? Who done killed them? All I'm saying is that, you know, we, we have to like, we have to start talking with common sense. You know what I'm saying? And and for me to see grown adults in that room, because see, Glorilla's young. She's young to be my child. But for me to see grown folks like Angela Yee in the room, Charlemagne the God, and DJ Envy just co-signing this is silly. And even, and you could tell Angela didn't agree because Angela kept asking her, well, where do we meet these men? Where do we meet these people? And it was just a bunch of giggling. And the main one giggling was Charlemagne. <laughs> He was giggling more than Glozilla. I'm like, what is so funny? Because I think the discussion needs to be had. I think it's a really good discussion. But I think as a grown woman, what she should have done or grown folks in that room is drop some gems on her. Because it's not about hooking up with a random man in the club and creating a soul tie. And now he don't went on to the next. It's really about trying to get to know somebody no matter where you meet them. You could find your husband tomorrow at a club this weekend while dancing, you know what I'm saying, to FNF, okay? You just never know. Whatever is meant to happen will happen. So I just don't think that people should limit themselves. That, that's my only issue. I just don't think people should limit themselves or say, you know, because you're in this particular environment, there are no good people in that environment. If you're in that environment, do you not consider yourself a good person? Because I go to the club. You know what I'm saying? I consider myself a good person. You know, sometimes you just want to go out and have fun and dance and, and kick it with your friends and, you know what I'm saying, have a good time. Doesn't mean that we're there to get, you know, to get fucked. I might twerk and have fun. That don't mean I want to sleep with you. So I, I just, I don't know. I just think it's it's funny. I just think it's funny. So, yeah, her dating advice <laughs> her dating advice no absolutely not you know but i like liberal i think she's a sweet girl and um you know she's doing her thing but y'all know if i don't agree with something i'm gonna say i don't agree with it i'm not about to pacify somebody because they're a rapper cardi has said some silly ass shit and when i don't agree with it i've called her out who remembers when she was out there dragging her fans last year when she was upset? Everybody thought, I forgot what award show was. Was it the AMAs? It was one of the award shows all of the Barty gang thought she was going to be at and she wasn't there. And Barty gang was really upset and she cussed all her fans out. And I had to drag Cardi for that. Like, no, nah, that's not okay. Who cares if your fans thought you were going to be there? Those are your fans. Regardless if you announce that you're going to be somewhere or not, they're going to think that, hey, you're going to be there because this person's there, that person's there. You don't retaliate with your fans, the people who have supported you by wishing them death and cussing out their mothers. So if I can hold her accountable because I don't agree with something she's done, what makes you I think I'm not about to, you know, uh, hold Gorilla accountable if I don't agree with something that she's saying? That's my opinion.
He part just weird. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.